Hello to everyone. Um, welcome back into our YouTube channel. So today we're going to be looking at River Capture B12. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more lesson content for math and science as well as other subjects that are under science. Okay. So today we're going to be looking at River Capture. Okay. I fully understand. I know that you at least discuss this in class so this is going to be a very very quick lesson as your extra lesson okay so a river capture what is a river capture so a river capture this is whereby a river okay steals water from the other river so those two rivers that i've mentioned in my definition are from two different drainage basins okay yeah so a river capture this is whereby another river from a different drainage basin steals water from another river from a different drainage basin. Okay? Yes. Okay. So in this diagram, I've uh, tried to draw a diagram um, just to um, assist me in explaining this river capture concept. Okay. So as you can see here, we have streams um, A, B, C, D, and a watershed, river gravel, and an end. But as you can see here, in this side, we have stream A, or we can say this is river A, from a different drainage basin, which is drainage basin one. In Okay, so we also have stream B, which has emerged from stream A, but I'll explain that, don't worry. So we also have stream C, from drainage basin two okay we have stream c and we have stream d okay yeah okay so just before i explain the river capture guys let me first say that stream c and stream d before river capture mean that this river c have been captured as well as this river d have been captured in this drainage basin two before there were one thing okay yes one flowing river river c and river d there were one flowing river okay yeah as well as stream b stream b as i've mentioned that it has emerged from um stream a so before the river capture or the the, the the river c and river d were captured okay yes so river b have emerged from um from stream a that's how it goes so as you can see here we have a watershed so what is a watershed we have to know what a watershed is so watershed is a high line area that separates two different drainage basins okay as you can see we have drainage basin one and we have drainage basin two and that's how it goes okay yes so all other processes all other um concepts that i've mentioned here such as river gravel they occurred or they formulated just after this river had been captured okay yes it is clear that this is the river this is the river from this drainage basin two that has been captured and drainage basin one is a capture stream or capture river uh, okay yes okay so what happens I'm, I'm going to go step by step very quick and much as much as possible guys what happens um in river capture okay in this process so in river capture we have stream a okay from this side i think you can clearly see that stream a from this drain basin one compared to stream c and stream d as one river flowing um from drainage basin two we can clearly see that at stream a we have many many um tributaries that supplies this stream meaning that this stream has more volume of water okay yes so this is the very first requirement meaning that this stream in order for it to be a pirate stream it has to have this much volume of water okay flowing inside okay because why it's because in order for this river to erode until it reaches that river so that it can steal its water it has to have more volume of water if ever there are more volume of water inside the river bed or inside the river there will be more erosion potential into that river so that's how it goes so river a 
eroded through river through the watershed too to this river from this drain basin too okay yes so this river has eroded okay let's say for example this was just a uh, tributary that is just like these tributaries okay but that starts from this point but now since this river have more volume water since there's much uh, surface runoff um, it's in a low-lying area it's in a steeper gradient um, also that um, leads to maybe um, that this river yes so we can say that the water table of this river a is above the riverbed okay yeah so that's the other contribution of this wall of this river to have this much water inside or this much volume of water inside so then this river um, erodes okay through this water watershed through this highland area into that drainage basin too in this way okay yes until it reaches this river from this drainage basin too okay yeah so um after then after this then this um stream b has been formed okay yes so after this stream has been formed meaning that the water that is flowing that is flowing through this river from drainage basin to downwards will not flow down there now it will change the direction okay it will change and make this turn and flow to to this river a and that's how river a steals water from from that drainage basin to river okay yes so if this river is stealing water from the other river what do we call that river so we call this river a captor stream okay so this will become a captor a captor stream so this is a captor stream or you can say it's a it's a um, captive stream or it's a pipe stream okay yeah so river b as well as river b is a captor stream because it has merged from from this from this stream yes so if ever they ask you in a question paper what what is river b it's a captor stream also okay yes so what is river c because river c is the stream that has been captured okay this is the river that the water is storing from by this river a okay so this becomes a captured stream okay this is a captured stream or a robbed stream okay captured stream it's a captured stream okay so since now as you can see that water will stop flowing into like downwards into this direction downwards will stop okay yes meaning that now okay so what's stopping this water flowing downwards it's because through this erosion that was occurring here which is called a headward erosion okay so this erosion is called the headward erosion that erosion is called the headward erosion by stream b okay yes the formation of the stream b was headward erosion okay headward ero erosion okay yes so this is headward erosion along the or through the watershed in two different drainage basins until it arrives at that river from different drainage basin okay so now you know that when erosion ha happens okay there will be eroded material okay that will be deposited so this river gravel is the eroded material that has been deposited okay into this point so this is going to act as a blockage of water from this stream C downwards forcing this water to to turn and flow into this stream a okay now stream D is going to is, is going to lose water okay has a loss of water has lost water now it, it will become a dry stream okay yes 
it's dry now there's no water flowing into this stream and it's not because of that um, concept that I've explained okay so river D is now what is now we call this a misfit stream okay this is a misfit misfit stream so this is a misfit stream okay yes so this misfit stream now will become a non perennial river okay or a non perennial stream you know how we, we, we draw a non perennial stream it's like this it's going to be like this in your maps okay yes non perennial stream okay yes very very dry stream okay maybe water will flow during um a rainy season which is going to some okay into the stream or even less in some okay that's how it goes so this will become a misfit stream d okay yes okay so let's talk about the vital concepts now okay which are the requirements okay or the reasons why why do we say this water has more volume of water i've explained more tributaries number one this water is power the, the uh, captive stream is more powerful because there's more volume of water and the 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 the, the, uh, the underlying rock or let's say yes the underlying rock is non-resistant okay yes to erosion and it is the the, the, the um the um, the location or let's say uh, yes the area that is this capital river is on is um a very very low lying area yes as well as in a steeper gradient okay yes so let me just write this down so this stream a or a capital stream there's more volume of water more volume of water that's why it's powerful um, more surface runoff more surface runoff more there's more surface runoff what causes this more surface runoff it's because it is in a steeper gradient the area or placed in a steeper steeper gradient Placed in a steeper gradient. Um, what else we can say, guys? We can also say that um, the river bed, or let's say the water tables above the river bed, water table is above the river bed. So these are the, or uh, let's also say that in this side of the basin one, there's more rainfall. More rainfall. So in that drainage basin two, it's going to be the opposite of these. Yes, as you can see that, as you can clearly see that with your eyes that the less tributaries in this drainage basin two river, less less surface meaning that there's less surface runoff because maybe there's more vegetation this side more buildings more houses and so on okay mm -hmm. uh, so those may be the influences of this less surface runoff from drainage basin to river um what else yeah so um in a steeper gradient this one is less um let's say it's 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 kind of general in a, in a general slope um the, the the water table is below the river bed you can also say that and there is less rainfall this in this side of drainage basin okay mm -hmm. and that's how it goes guys um please don't forget to subscribe um for more lesson contents have a great day cheers and so this this 10 here okay this 10 here we call it the elbow of the capture okay i should have um, told you what i was explaining elbow of the the capture elbow of the capture okay so this becomes elbow of the capture as you can see it is like this shape yeah so it is for the water will flow this way this is the river gravel and this is the misfit stream
and that's how you console this we call it the output of the of the capture 